club in Newcastle. I went for about, I think it was about six or seven years, had a season ticket with my dad. Um, just absolutely loved it. We had like, it was two seats um, just in front of the family enclosure. So we had a little added bonus. So if uh, there was any chances or anything that we'd miss, we'd turn around. There's a telly strip behind us, so loved it. For positional wise, I'd have to say John Terry. Just absolutely loved him when I was younger. That's just, he, I wanted to be John Terry, basically. Have to say St James's again. Just still, even now when you you know when you go to the Newcastle game, still get that little buzz. Just love it when the atmosphere picks up as well. It's just brilliant. I'm gonna have to say when first turning pro. I just like there's no for me there was no better feeling. Obviously that kind of felt like everything like worked for in football just finally paid off, and oh, I was a really really good feeling. Well, don't really score many, obviously, uh, being at the back, but um, I'd say when I was younger, I uh, played for Walls End Boys Club and we had like a, a trip over in Italy and we got to the final and the pitch was just horrendous. It was literally like a swamp and it finished nil-nil, but we went to penalties and uh, I remember I was on, like, there was a few lads didn't want to take one, so I ended up taking the last penalty and all I remember is kicking it and seeing it hit the net and it was... <laughs> It was a kind of relief, but I'd have to say that was my best one. Right? My position, maybe? Obviously, I, I love playing centre half now, but maybe it's where you know, the strikers might get a bit, few more plaudits. Uh, I love football, just that's all I've ever done really since I've ever remember. I just played football, being consistent, just uh, it's always been there. Simple as that.